ladies and gentlemen, we are the group that will tackle about ordinary and exact interest. I am Lara Lujud Ovadales, the first instructor that will discuss about ordinary and exact interest. In order to learn about ordinary and exact interest, we need to identify the objectives to classify the characteristics about ordinary and exact interest. The first one objective is to find the ordinary interest and exact interest. Second, find the principal rate and time. Third, define the basic terms used with concept notes. Interest that is based on a 360-day year instead of a 365-day year. In contrast, exact interest is based on a 365-day year. If large sums of money are involved, the difference can be significant. The ratio of ordinary interest to exact interest is 1 is to 1.0139, also called simple interest. In order to know what is ordinary interest is, ordinary interest is an interest that is computed on the basis of 360 day year, using 12 months of 30 days, instead of 365 day year. For instance, Treasure bill yields are quoted on a 365-day year. Corporated bonds, mark gauge, and consumer installment bonds with pre-computed interest each ordinary interest. With larger amounts invested, the difference between ordinary interest and exact interest on a 365-day year can be substance chart. Interest is a sum paid for the use of money. Business concerns and individuals who find themselves in need of cash or financial credit borrow money and agree to pay a certain percentage of using the borrowed amount. Interest is computed on an agreed rate of interest. It is certain the principal after interest period or loan period is over. The money lender will receive the original amount of the together with the great interest. In simple interest, the basic equation is interest equals principal times rate. However, there is the element of time which also plays a significant part in interest problems. Thus, the basis of equation is modified to interest equals principal times roll times time. Time is to be expressed a number of years or as part of a year when true is given in terms of months. It easily converted to a fractional year by using the equivalence one year equals 12 months. But when time is given in terms of days, two possible equivalents may be used. 360 days equals one year. 30 days equals one month. 365 days equals one year or it is an exact. Formulas to be used will be I is equal to PRT where P is the principal of the original sum, R is the rate of interest, and T is the time expressed in years. F is equal to P plus I where F is the final amount to be paid. So here is the sample problem. What is the ordinary interest on 1,360 for 90 days at 4%? So, the given is principal is 1,360 and the rate is 4% and we will convert it into decimal. So, it will become 0.04 and the time is 90 days. So, in the problem, we need to find the ordinary interest. So. The 90 days will be divided into 360 and the formula will be used is interest is equals to principal times rate times time. So we need to substitute it. So now I is equals to 1360 times 0 0.04 times 90 over 360. So, now first, we will divide the 90 to 360. So, it will become, it will become 0 0.25. And now, we will, be, we will multiply 1,360 to 0 0.04. And the, 
is 54.4 and we will multiply it into 0 0.25 and our ordinary interest is equal to 13.6 here is the second problem for ordinary interest find the ordinary interest on 1392 at 9 percent for 70 days given p which is the borrowed amount is equal to 1392 and the rate is 9% converted into decimal so it will become 0 0.09 and the time is 70 days so here is the formula interest is equal to principal times rate times time Multiply the 1392 to 0 0.09 and we will divide the 70 to 360 so it will become 0.09. and we will multiply the 3 given which is the P, the R and the T and the answer is Here is the third problem. Find out how much would Leslie give after 200 days if she borrowed 11,000 pesos at 10% interest rate given that she agreed to use ordinary interest. Here is the given. Principal or borrowed amount is equal to 11,000. The rate is 10%. We will, we will convert it into decimal, which is 0.10. The time is 200 days. The formula will be used in this problem is interest is equal to principal times rate times time. Next, here is the solution. Here is the solution. 11,000 times 0 0.10 times 200 over 360. We need to divide this both. Here is the answer. Six hundred eleven point eleven pesos. The fourth problem. What is the ordinary interest if I be borrowed one thousand three hundred ninety two with an interest rate of six percent for seventy days? Given the principal is. 1,392 and the rate is 6% and we will convert it into decimal and it will become 0 0.06. The time is 70 days. So, the formula is interest equals to principal times rate times time. Here's the solution. First, we will divide the 70 to 360. And the answer of this is. And here is the trick given 1392 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.19. And the answer is 16.24. Fifth problem find the amount of 100,000 PHP loan after 600 days at 6% interest rate. This is the given. Principal amount is 100,000. Rate is 0.06. Time is 0. Uh, 600 days. <laughs> the formula is interest equals principal times rate times time. This is the solution. So this is the solution, 100,000 times 0 0.06 times 600 over 65. We need to divide this one. 
So this is the answer. Answer is equals 9,863.01. Six problem. Find the exact interest in 500 at 8% for 45 days. Given is the given is principal equals 500. The rate is 8% and time is 45 days. We need to use this formula: interest equals principal times rate times time. Time. So here is the solution. So we need to use this 365 because the given is exact interest. So simply we need to multiply both of the three. Then. So the answer is 4.93 and this is your interest rate in exact interest. Seventh problem. A loan of 2000 when a simple annual interest rate of 14% was made on June 14 and was due on August. August of the same year find the exact interest this is our formula interest equals principal times rate times time and this is my solution Okay, 2000 times times 0 0.14 times 61 over 365 and this is my answer. And this is my answer. 46.75. Eight question. Find the exact on a loan of 3500 pesos at 12% annual simple interest for 45 days. The given is the principal is 3,500 pesos and the interest rate is 12% or in a decimal is 0 0.12 and the time is 45. So here is the formula. Interest rate is equal to principal times rate times time. So here's the solution. So the answer is 51.78. Ninth problem. You have not an amount of 10,000 pesos at 9.5% interest running from January 5 to April 16. Calculate the difference between ordinary and exact interest. Since the problem stated is about the difference between ordinary and exact interest, we need to subtract the answer of ordinary and exact interest. But before that, I will state first the given in order to get the exact answer. Given principal equals 10,000 pesos, rate equals 9.5% or 0 0.095 time equals 101 days formula equals interest equals principal times rate times time. First, we need to get the ordinary interest. So this is the answer of ordinary interest and exact interest. Ordinary interest is 266.53 and for exact interest is 262.88. Next step, we will subtract this both to, to find the difference between the two.
So, this is the answer. <coughs> 3.65. Nowadays, borrowing money is already a trend, so borrowers should at least become familiar to the different calculation of interest for the ordinary interest and exact interest. For the money, they wanted to borrow from any banks and other financing agencies. So I hope you understand and analyze on how to solve an ordinary and exact interest. By the way, I'm your instructor, Joy Lamiri Mitizo from Group 2. Thank you for watching!